everybody, it's Mark David Heiser from Day Did You Win? And as I said in my last video, the race review of the Air Force 2019 Marathon, um, I had the opportunity for the first time to be a pacer. And uh, as I said in the, in the last video, it was kind of a decision. I've been wanting to do um, pacing for a little while. I'm kind of slowing down um, right now after doing, uh, this was my 31st marathon, so after doing 30 marathons, my body is kind of wearing down a little bit, and I get it. Um, and so it's just maybe it's time for me to kind of give back a little bit more to the running community and if that's by pacing that's fantastic i will do it and uh i had a great time with this i didn't even tell um i had a, a co-pacer with me and i didn't even tell her i guess until mile 22 or so that this was my first time pacing a marathon and she was pretty surprised by that um but um Maybe it's a good thing I didn't tell her because uh, maybe she would have been questioning how things were going to be going. Um, so anyways, um, like I said, this is just an, th something I've been really thinking about doing and uh, pulled the trigger on it because of how warm it's going to be and I didn't want to push myself too much on this day. And so um, I volunteered to do the three hours, 45 minute pace group. Um, so like I said in the last video, it's 835 a mile roughly. Um, and they stress to us, you know, they want us talk, they want you talking to everybody who's around you. Um, they encourage you to um, uh, not talk so much in the first couple of miles. Get yourself in the groove of what it is and that of what you're going for. And then after that, start talking, uh, you know, figuring, you know, talking about people about the race, how they're doing, what your plan is for the race. And um, also just talk about yourself, talk to, to others about their lives. And, and you know, just because at, at times in the marathon, you know, you want to focus on something other than what you're actually doing. And if you can distract others um, uh, from what they're going through right now, possibly a better chance of succeeding uh, and hitting their goals. It's not about your goal because you're a pacer, you're helping them get to your to their goal and what they want to do. And so uh, me and Stephanie, that was the pacer that I was running with. Um, she's from, I believe uh, she said Kansas um, or Kansas City. Um, but uh, we were, we talked before uh, the start um, while we were lined up, let's go for nine minutes on the first mile. Um, there's an uphill nine minutes let's just get into the groove not overdo ourselves um you know even effort is basically what we were thinking and so we got up the first hill first mile at the top of the first hill and we're at 8 38 and so we're like oh no <laughs> we're going too fast already and we knew we had it downhill so we weren't going to just you know take it too easy we you know you want to be able to use the downhill as much as you can but at the same time not push the pace not you know, even effort, even effort the whole time. And so I don't think we really even uh, used any more effort on the second mile than what we did on the first mile. We ran eight minute mile. It was a steep downhill. And so um, after that, we tried to get more and more uh, into our groove and uh, it, we struggled. Well, it was hard because, you know, we're talking to others around us. Um, and, uh, you know, of course we're getting distracted somewhat. So we ended up next three or four miles, eight, 21 um 821 805 826 through mile six and so you know we are we are banking time and we're actually while we're the 345 pacers we're catching up to the 340 group and we're right on them probably at this point and we're like okay we know we're fast but are we really that fast and we we probably were uh but um finally mile seven i don't know what it was but we slowed it down 8:42. Actually, that might have been when I used the bathroom, so that might be why it's an 8:42. Um, and so uh, then we in the mile nine was 8:32. Um, so right there, that's as close as we've been in the first 10 miles, really, to our actual pace. 8:22 on mile 10. 8:18, 8:16, 8:11 through the halfway point. And so we already know at this point that we are fast um, we were probably two minutes at least fast at this point um, 812 823 822 mile 17 834 the first mile we are actually right on pace um, this is sad um, and so at this point we knew we had minutes and we knew that we had to finish within a minute under our pace they, you don't want to finish 345 01 but 34 three, four, three 
4401, that's fine. Um, and so, but we're trying to figure out how, we weren't really trying to figure out, we knew what we had to do. We knew we had to slow down. And so we started walking through aid stations. That's basically what we decided to do for the rest of the race. Uh, mile 18, 346. So there's 11 seconds we gave back. Um, 858. Uh, and then we came back on mile 20 with 831. I don't think there's an aid station on mile 20, so that's probably why. Uh, mile 20, uh, mile 21, 845. Uh, mile 22, uh, 849. And this is where the hills are starting to come in. And we are thinking by ourselves, okay, if we get to a hill, we're going to walk up the hill. We got time. The hill was long and the hill was hard. And so we actually didn't walk up the hill because if we did, we would have really lost too much time. Um, mile 23, then 914. Um, mile 24, 8.45, mile 25, we slipped up. We got an 8.03. I don't think there was an aid station once again on mile 25. And then mile 26, um, we were really kind of slogging it in. Um, 8.36 was our uh, mile at that point. And um, we really didn't give ourselves permission to pick it back up until um, we got uh, right at the finishing stretch. Um, the last um, half mile or so, it goes around um, the tar, I guess the tarmac for a better word. Uh, but then you come back, uh, do a little bit of a um, loop, half loop, and then you run right down uh, the finish chute, which is lined with airplanes all over, a huge military aircraft. And the wings are extending over the finishing chute. It's really cool. And so we're running and then we finally found, when our watches hit three hours and 44 minutes, we knew we were safe. And so that's when we were able to just kind of push our way in. And so we finished, like I said, in 344, 29, 31 seconds um, ahead. Uh, and after seeing so many other pacers who just couldn't hang on because of the heat and everything, we felt really good about ourselves. Um, and so my takeaways from being a pacer, um, one, I want to do this again. I want to do this at least once a year. Um, I'm not sure though if it's going to be in the marathon next year or anything like that. I'm looking at half marathon possibilities right now. I think that's going to be a lot easier, obviously. You know, even being a marathon pacer, it's still beating on you because you're actually on your feet longer than what you're, you're used to in a marathon. Um, I've been running 320 marathons and now I'm running a 345 marathon and it's, I mean, you're, you're on your legs a lot longer. And so there's a lot more steps and it's just beating on you. Um, and so it's not, and it's not necessarily easy. Um, I, bec I was becoming dehydrated towards the end. Um, but knew I just had to keep on going. Um, and so half marathon, I think would be easier just because, you know, you're used to being on your feet that long, even if you're, uh, let's say a two hour pacer and you're used to running, uh, 140 let's just say um but if you're running marathons you're already used to that uh used to being on your feet that long so it's not as big of a deal um and so you know i wish though with this marathon uh that i was able to actually have more communication with others unfortunately me and stephanie we really ran a lot of this marathon by ourselves and i think that's a lot to do with the heat everybody was taking precautions not going out too hard just making sure that they survived i think was kind of the mindset on this day and so um, unfortunately, I, you know, we didn't have anybody go with us um, for long periods of time. At the, at the beginning, we had people with us probably about six, for six to eight miles, but then it, you know, unfortunately just because of the heat and uh, I just don't think people were really wanting to do it, uh, wanting to keep up. And so, um, you know, I would like another opportunity where, um, people are actually staying with us. And I think that'd be um, a, a lot better opportunity. I'm not saying anything, it's nothing against Air Force. It's just what the weather was that day. And so, um, you know, like I said, I wanna try maybe for a half marathon, see how that goes. Um, I'm looking into what's available for next spring. I don't think there's gonna be anything I can do yet this year, but um, I'm keeping my eye open. I'll let you guys know when I'm doing it in case you're in that area. Um, and you want to run this marathon as well. If I'm maybe pacing the group you want to be with, I don't know. Um, but, um, it was a, it was a fantastic experience. And, and like I said, I'm glad I had somebody else to do it with for the first time. And that, that, um, I wasn't out there pacing by myself because 
if that were the case with the paces we were running i'm not sure i would have slowed myself down enough i'm not sure i would because i hate walking through aid stations i'm gonna be honest with you there are times where actually i felt myself tightening up while doing it and so but i don't think i would have done that on my own uh had i not had a fellow pacer out there with me uh to help slow us down so um yeah overall it's a great experience you've never done it you, and you um are wanting to do a race maybe you're not wanting to take so serious um you know give it a shot i mean they they treated us well so they actually gave us uh uniform swear or singlet swear so this is the air force marathon pacer singlet that they gave us it is a uh new balance so it's it's good quality um so pacer on the back follow me to the bagels so it's sponsored by pacers are sponsored by uh panera um and then also they gave us shorts to wear as well um i'm not quite sure how picky they were about the shorts i don't think all pacers warm i did um just because but not every not every race is going to provide you um with a pacer uniform uh for instance uh air force marathon just did that i thought it was great um something else for me to have and remember i i run in it still so um who doesn't want another shirt to run in um but also uh they um not only did they give us free uh registration but um if you were running or if uh you wanted you could take advantage and stay um in housing that they provided and i believe it was on the air force base i don't know since my wife came with me i didn't take advantage of that we stayed at a hotel uh just off of uh, the campus of wright state university um and so you know like i said there are perks to it sometimes sometimes there's not um but um you have to check with, uh, every race is different and so um just check with that so, um there are ways of getting involved in pacing uh, for instance this time i got involved through Be uh, beast pacing uh, they do races all over the country um, some races uh, provide their own pacers um, they recruit them um, such as monumental which i am uh, an ambassador for they are actually um, creating their own pace team and so um, you know there you just need to if there's something you're interested in first of all maybe one of the best ways to do is get connected with somebody like beast pacing and just um check them out get your name in there send them your email address and they will send you information about where uh what races are um needing pacers and how to get connected into that also what i've started to do i've actually started to send messages to other races just asking hey how are you doing pacers do you need pacers and uh and that sort of thing so i'm trying to find my next race we'll see what that turns out to be we're gonna have to look at schedules and stuff um to really figure out what's gonna be um an option uh for next spring specifically probably so like i said earlier uh keep in touch uh let me know if you are running in a race i am maybe i'll be pacing it i'll let you know when those are going to be and uh yeah like i said don't, give it a shot it's it's a lot of fun so all right Talk to you guys later. Next